In this video, I'll show you how to overload the add operator so that you can define what it means to add two data types that are not necessarily numbers. Let's say that we have a struct called point and it has two fields x of type u32 and y of type u32. And we're going to define an addition for points. So let's say that we have point p0 and p1. We're going to define what it means to add two points p0 and p1. To define addition for our type, we will need to implement the trait called add. The function that we'll need to implement is also called add. For the inputs, it's going to take in self, the type that is implementing this trait, and another input named rhs, where rhs is a generic data type that is defined over here. If you do not specify this rhs, then this will default to self, the same type that is implementing this add trait. In our example, we're going to be implementing this trait for our struct point. So self over here will be point, and RHS will also be point. The output is defined as self colon colon output. And this output is defined over here inside the trait definition. So this is an associated type. Remember from the previous video that associated types are used to restrict the implementation of a trait to a single type. If we use a generic trait so that this output is also generic, then we can return different implementation for this function at. But given the types self and RHS, we only want one implementation for the function at. So here it makes sense to use associated types instead of generic traits. Let's now implement this add trait for our struct point. I'll copy this definition and then paste it inside here. We will also need to import the add trait from std ops. So I'll type use std ops add. The next step is to implement this add trait for our struct point. So over here, I'll type impl add for point. And then we'll need to implement the function at fn at. It's going to take in self and rhs. rhs will be of the type rhs. By default, this will be the same type as self, the type that is implementing the add trait. So this will be point. And then it's going to return self colon colon output. Here we'll need to specify the associated type output. We're going to be adding two points. Self will be point. The right hand side, rhs, will also be point. When we add two points, we want to get back another point. So the type output will be a point. Let's define addition over points to be adding the coordinates of the point. So we're gonna be adding point.x with another point.x and we're gonna also be adding the y coordinates. Point will be, the x will be the first one plus plus the right hand side rhs.x. The same goes for y. Okay, so now we define what addition means for our struct point. Let's try executing this code. We'll create two points and then add it. Notice here that we can use the plus sign to add two different data types that are not of the type numbers. And then let's print this out. Execute the code and we get point x is equal to four and y is equal to six. We added one plus three and it is equal to four. We added two plus four and it is equal to six. So this is a simple example of operation overloading. We overloaded the add function. Let's take it one more step further. Let's make this point into a generic data type. So I'll make this into t, also make this into t, and I'll also make this y into t. The goal here is that we want to be able to create a point where this type t can be a u32, i32, f32, and so on, any number type. So now we need to update this implementation for the add trait. First, we need to declare that this point is a generic data type. We do this by putting here a t, and then over here saying t as well. The output will also be of the type, a generic point of type t. So we do the same over here as well. And finally, we need to tell Rust that this type t must also implement add, where t is add and the output is also of the type t. Here we're saying that t is a type that implements the add trait, and when two t's are added, the output will also be equal to t. And finally, inside the main function, we can change the type of the numbers. Currently, the default is i32. Let's change this to a float. For example, let's change this to 1.0, 2.0, 4.0, and 3.0. Execute the code again, and we get point x is 4.0 and y is 6.0. So in this video, I'll show you an example of how to overload the add operation. The add trait uses associated types so that the type implementing the add trait can have only one implementation for the add trait. 